Um, okay. So today we're talking about methane. A lot of you asked me about methane in the previous lessons. Uh, why we don't include it as much um, as, a, uh, as a greenhouse gas or why we talk most of the time just about carbon dioxide. It's because methane is not produced in such a large amount, but it is a lot more effective at absorbing re-radiated energy or infrared energy from the sun. So methane is a greenhouse gas uh, it traps heat energy and and it's produced mostly by anaerobic bacteria. So um, we talked about anaerobic respiration earlier this year. So uh, when, when these bacteria digests or breaks down or decays um, things like dung, then we, they produce methane. It is far more harmful than carbon dioxide because it traps infrared radiation that carbon dioxide cannot trap. Natural resources of methane include wetlands, wildfires, and oceans. Human sources of methane include agriculture, landfill sites, and the production and uh, production of fossil fuels. Uh, also, um, in South Africa, our farming practices produces the amount, most amount of methane, and it um, landfills contain a large amount of organic waste material. And that's the ideal area where methane is produced. And then natural gas, which is normally methane, is released during extraction of fossil fuels. Um, and sometimes it can get into the water sources. And if you want to see some videos on that, please go onto YouTube and watch all of the arguments against what they call fracking. Fracking, when they try to really, um, use these natural gases and it gets into the water and uh, there's actually even some videos of people that setting their water uh, like as they pour it out of the, the taps that's because of methane. Research is underway to investigate how to uh, how methane gas can be used to generate electricity which is quite actually quite easy. Um, in a lot of countries around the world they actually do use it for cooking and heating. Uh, India is one of those places where it's used a lot. Methane is a greenhouse gas that traps heat energy in the atmosphere and is produced by anaerobic bacteria due, during decomposition. It's far more harmful than carbon dioxide. It traps a lot more infrared radiation uh, that will normally pass back into space that carbon dioxide normally won't trap. So per molecule, it, it traps a lot more heat. As a result, it contributes to global warming and the breakdown also contributes to the breakdown of the ozone layer. Okay, so um, there's some, um, there are natural sources of methane, wetlands, wildfires and oceans. The oceans have a lot of methane, uh, oceans especially because of, of the lack of oxygen. Uh, um, we and especially because there's a lot of organic material that can be broken down. Human resources of uh, methane. Okay, so um, agriculture, landfill sites, and uh, production of fossil fuels. Rice paddies con uh, contributes to a large number of methane. Um, about 50 to 100 million tons of gas per year worldwide. Uh, people then, um, and it, it's the perfect environment for, for methane production because there's a lot of organic um, waste that is being produced down here and um, as, um, and then because of the water there's very little oxygen so you get anaerobic respiration of the bacteria producing a lot of methane. Okay, so um, mainly our, our um, livestock trade is our main contributor to methane in South Africa, uh, especially from sheep and cattle. And um, it is, be, again, because of the breakdown of the dung that is producing methane. Okay, so 
biogas plants. So this is the idea where we use this as a fuel, methane as a fuel, and then of course when we burn it, it produces carbon dioxide, but carbon, the carbon dioxide that it produces is a lot less potent than just having the loose methane in the atmosphere. So basically what, we, what you do over here is you create an anaerobic environment. Um, over here you throw in any organic material that needs to be broken down, mainly dung. Then it leads into this tank and you can see it's kind of, it's filled up here. And so this creates a perfect um, environment that doesn't have any oxygen inside it. So you get anaerobic respiration. And so you get methane being produced and methane gets into this pipeline and you can burn it um, as a source of fuel for cooking, heating, heating water and so forth or even generating electricity if you can create large enough amounts. And then in the end, you, um, when it's finished um, decomposing, whatever comes out on this side is very nice fertilizer. So we can use that as fertilizer. Okay. And we already mentioned the other sources of methane production. Guys, please go watch those videos I made on uh, that, that uh, I posted on methane. And you will be completing activity five from the focus book of this chapter. Is there any questions that you guys have at this stage? So, hmm. Why, why does South Africa use uh, so much coal? Um, I think the main reason is because uh, it's abundant and it's very easy to use. Um, it's very abundant in South Africa. Um, it, it's an easy to use fuel to burn up and uh, generate electricity. And um, a lot of those power plants were built in um, uh, in an era where we didn't realize the impact that it was having on um, on the uh, on the greenhouse effect and global warming, uh, and since then, to actually replace that and start building other power plants is 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 very expensive. So we have to use what we have at the moment to drive the economy. It, it's always uh, it's always difficult to get a balance between what are we doing the, to the environment and uh, what we need to do to be able to to drive our economy. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay. Any other questions, guys? Okay, please go watch those videos. Um, and uh, then if you have any comments, please, um, please then post them as well on the WhatsApp group. And then I can see if I can help you guys out there. Thank you very much. I will see you guys then tomorrow and I'll try to fit in two lessons because I see this one was a bit short today. Okay. I thought we were going to take longer with the discussion of the. Um, of the questions, but I am posting, I'll post the memos as well so you guys can mark it. Okay.